The next emotion that I, and portrait that I want to talk about is sadness. Look at this picture, the emotion of sadness, the tears. You can see the tracks of my tears, like the Smokey Robinson song. How many of you have ever looked when walking or shopping or just walking and you look into a mirror and you see this face and you didn't even realize you were crying? The tears are just there, and any little trigger can, can emote the tears. Uh, no, when someone says, I'm sorry to make you cry, we know they didn't make us cry. They allowed the tears. The tears are there. The tears are important. Uh, the tears are physical reaction to grief. They are necessary. They release the high levels of cortisol that we have uh, when we are grieving. And sweat can do the same thing, so working it out. But it's the body's natural reaction to, to well up and to, to cry when we're stressed with the high stress of, of, of grief. It's just a natural reaction. So allow the tears. And some men uh, may have trouble crying. Or, well, men have smaller tear ducts. We have less hormones uh, like prolactin and, and other hormones that, that we can cry, but uh, maybe not as easily. But sometimes you can prime the bump. I'm, I would watch a Hallmark, I would rent a Hallmark movie, and just the commercials I start crying. Now, now the, with the synaptic elasticity of our brains, uh, I have new neural pathways uh, that emote easier, uh, from, uh, that I'm allowing myself to emote, so we build new neural pathways allowing the tears to come. So if you cannot cry, uh, find, you know, seek some things that maybe will stir the pump or, or find a place where you can cry and feel safe. Sometimes we just don't feel safe in a, in a safe environment to be able to cry. Find that friend that you can put your, your head on their shoulder and allow the tears. It hurts when they happen, but it's like, it's like, it's like rupturing a blister. It just lets the pressure off. Uh, so that, the, tr the tear, the sadness, this emotion, the sadness, is the emotion I'm, that we all, it'll always come and go through the year of our grief, through the years of our grief, till we too join our loved one. Uh, the sadness will always have that lingering, that emotion of sadness, missing them, the missing them. That's one emotion that never goes away. Thank God, we miss our living family members that uh, are geographically separated. Uh, we miss our loved ones who have are no longer on the planet. And, and that, sometimes in early grief, some people are misdiagnosed or believe they're in deep depression. And when they're not, maybe not in clinical depression, uh, that they're, in, uh, ju they're just very sad, because grief is sad. When you're clinically depressed, sometimes you, you get so apathetic you don't care, you don't think about anything. You don't care about yourself. You don't even talk about your loved one. When you're clinically depressed, you are so out, you, you can't even function. When we're sad, we're thinking about our loved one all the time. When we're thinking about our loved one and crying and wishing they were here and talking to them, uh, that, that's, that's, that, that is a normal reaction in grief. Depression is when we just don't, we shut down and we don't, and, and we have suicidal thoughts. And, and uh, there's, so if you are feeling that, please contact an emergency line a suicide line or depression line. There are, uh, the, T the Compassionate Friends has a 24-hour um, hotline. There are many avenues, especially online, that if you're feeling that you are entering into depression, uh, that you can find help uh, with your employer. And most employers have employee assistance program that you can get three, three free sessions of counseling. Uh, should you choose to follow up on that, then it would be your responsibility. But I, I took advantage of that 30 years ago. I went to one session, and the, my therapist said, everything you're going through is normal. That's all I needed to hear to be validated that, that uh, I wasn't crazy, that all these feelings I'm having were part of the grief journey. Just know that sadness will accompany our grief journey uh, for the rest of our days. It comes and goes, but we will always miss them.